So far right now, as we take a look at our There For You weather headlines, we continue to see that storms pop up. Flash flood danger is present for us in southern Utah. Also, we'll look at a drought update and the weekend outlook as we look at the seven-day forecast. And one thing right now we can expect to see is cloud cover building up over parts of southern Utah. Cedar City here with our Southern Utah University camera network. Plenty of cloud cover really just hanging around. And we have that flash flood watch. It's been expanded now. It covers a lot more of southwest. West Utah. It's now in effect and continues until this midnight, even tonight at midnight. So we continue to see that the possibility for flash flooding is present for us. And looking at storm tracker radar, look at that. We're already seeing these storms pop up, and we could see the we could really see the showers taking place right now. And that's where we start to see the possibility of flash flooding. And as we really take a look a little bit more here for the next few hours throughout the next for us in Salt Lake City, we even see the possibility of some shower activity here. So that can be something to keep in mind. Of course, the drought, we continue to see it increase and not that great. We have added four points for parts of our exceptional drought, and it is looking not that well, even though we've been getting all of this rain. And it unfortunately has just been sliding right off, creating flash flooding issues. Again, spotty showers are possible for parts of northern Utah, but the heaviest rain will still be towards southern Utah. These are all slow moving showers, so that's why we expect to see that expected potential for flash flooding is over in Capitol Reef National Park, Grand Staircase, Escalante. We see probable in Brace Canyon National Park. These are areas where we're going out. Please avoid slot canyons today and even maybe tomorrow. And as we look ahead at Futurecast, today we expect to see the showers continue a little bit into the evening time. Friday, just like clockwork, once again, we see that and even into Saturday, so we're not fully out of there. And even tomorrow, we can possibly see the potential for some flash flooding. And regional forecasts, we're expecting to see that temperatures ranging around the 90s for us. Here in St. George, we're expecting to see shower activity really hanging around for the next few out, for the next few days, and temperatures hanging around that triple digit mark for us. Wasatch Front, triple digit mark also for our temperatures, but a little bit drier, especially going into the weekend for us. And even possibly into next week, we start to see the return of of our own monsoon moisture for some storm activity. But if you want to stay ahead of any of the storms or any of the alerts, be sure to download the Pinpoint Weather app on your smart device on your app store. Over to you, Brian.